guess that RPGs is more morally acceptable because the monsters attack people, but there's still hundreds, if not thousands, of monsters you slay in your typical RPG. Oh yeah, you <laughs> just look at my playthrough of Bravely Default 2, where you just got infinitely stronger and stronger and stronger. The more of them you not not only killed, but ones that you captured and put in your void pocket to use, you know, to literally just chill there until the day came that you'd summon them again. You know, what a what a video game that was. Good old Beastmaster. Oh, where did it go? Why am I the most cursed person in the entire world? Ugh. Yeah, that, that's what it was. The creature comforts, I think, was the name of the skill. But as I like to call it, comfort animals. Selena, I heard shouting. Is everything okay? Also, when I was tinkering around in that save editor for like the resources and stuff, it really lets you tinker around with like basically anything. I could change my main character's hair color later if I wanted to, or pretty much anything about them, you know. <laughs> Which means if we wanted to switch mid playthrough to female corn, we could. But I probably won't. I might do revelations as, with it though. You know, I've been giving it some thought and looking at my spreadsheet for how I would redo things if I was playing as female corn. And it really reinforced to me how much I hate making plans and revelations because of, you know, how few pairings there are across like Hashido and Nor. And it's like, oh, I want to change this pairing to someone else. Well, now maybe I've screwed myself and not everyone can pair up anymore because I've left two people that, you know, don't have any other potential support partners left. So now I have to undo more pairings and then like mix and match there somehow until everything matches up again. And in Fire Emblem Awakening, you know, it was all the female characters that would have kids excluding Krom. And you had more male characters than female characters. So there would always be some unmatched male characters. Like, so you didn't have to assign every single one of them. There would always be some left over and you could decide like where your priorities are there. But in this, it's the male characters that have the kids. And in terms of ones that can pair off, there is an exact amount of female characters and male characters, which means you need to pair off every single one. There isn't like any spares or left over at the end. And even though there's... There is technically more playable female characters in this game than male characters. It's just that you don't have the option to support and pair off a lot of them. Like uh, Rhina, Scarlet, Anna. Like, why? Why couldn't they just pair off? And then you have like a little bit, you know, left over and then some more strategic freedom. So, and if you as a first generation, you know, pair off as, as male corn with uh, someone first generation, then, you know, that's someone else's kid that you'll never get. It's so dumb. Anyway, so re-looking at those spreadsheets and redoing some stuff, getting some different ideas, really reinforced to me how much I hate making Fire Emblem Fates plans sometimes, and especially Revelations. You know, it's my favorite game for pairings, and it's also my least favorite game for pairings. It sucks. I'm obviously not. I can't find my Yukata. Oh, no. Wait, what's a Yukata? You don't even know what a Yukata is? Well, for your information, it's a super cute dress type thing from Hoshido. Oh, but aren't you from Nor? What does that have to do with it? Who said I was from Nor? Sorry, I'm confused. Why does it matter where I'm from? I can wear whatever I want. No argument there, if the shoe fits. I thought I told you it was a dress, not a shoe. And of course it fits. I look fabulous. But now I can't find it. No need to shout. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you know anything? I was fishing for a compliment there, jeez. I'm sorry? Whatever. Are you gonna help me find my Yukata or not? Well, it doesn't sound like I have a choice. Not if you want to remain my third best friend, mister. Now come on, let's find that thing. Okay, sounds good. Wait, third best? Who are numbers one and... Oh, don't you worry your pretty little head off about them. What, like Camilla and Baruka, I assume? Or maybe Odin and Laszlo? I don't know. But yeah, let's see here. Um, emotional support swipe. That was Bravely Default 2 right there. Bravely Default 2 says that having prisoners of war makes you strong. <laughs> and yeah, I I realized after saying it there that that was, you know, a very jarring sentence there. But it is basically what happens in Bravely Default 2. Also, I'm starting to get really warm. Maybe I should just take this winter jacket away behind me completely. I had it over my shoulders for a little while. But yeah, when having a gender equal ensemble makes the game harder. Like, in terms of those that can pair off, it's gender equal. But I'm fairly certain in terms of, like, the total count of playable characters, I think there is more female than male characters. It's just they chose not to, you know, have them be pair offable. Because Scarlet, Rhina, Anna, and for males, there was uh, Shura, 
if you decide not to take his boots. Um, Izana, which is exclusive to Birthright and Conquest, not Revelation, so I guess he doesn't really count. Um, and I guess Scarlet doesn't really count from that perspective either because she's Birthright exclusive. So Rhina, Anna, oh, Flora as well, so that's three. And then there's Gunter. Um, there's Fuga in Revelations. But come on, that's like three and three. But, you know, just have those three guys not be able to have kids because they're not like, important characters. But have those three other female characters be able to pair off as well. Of Flora, Rhina, and Anna. Like, what gives? Game sucks, man. But yeah. On to see here. Uh, <laughs> make another fucked up joke, but you stopped yourself. And yeah, there is also Gunter in Conquest. I'm pretty sure he's in Revelations as well, though, right? But yeah, because you can bang your father figure in Conquest. Oh, good old Fire Emblem Fates. Hold it right there. Pardon. I'm Selena, retainer of Lady Camilla, Princess of Nor. And you're the guy they've been talking about. Kyle, right? I'm Kyle, true. <laughs> what exactly have they been saying about me? You can't bang him in Rev- Oh yeah, because there's stuff that happens with him in uh, Revelations, I think. I think he- Does he live? I don't even remember. Whatever. Let's say that he's a Conquest exclusive character then, in that case. But, uh, but still, you know, the female characters, why couldn't they just be pair offable? So you have, like, more strategic freedom. It's so silly. Now you're one of the most dangerous ninja in all of Hoshido. And that you are the brother, and that you are brother to the famous Saizo V. Meaning, of course, that you belong to the renowned Saizo clan. I see. And you are trying to bait me to get a sense of my temperament. Um, yeah, actually, pretty much. And this is because you believe Nor and Hashido will forever be at war. I hadn't thought about that, no. I only wanted to see if you would be a useful ally. That's not what your eyes say. They are shining with suspicion. <laughs> However, I don't think there will be another war after this one. Something tells me this peace will last. <laughs> that whole serene and aloof act just makes you even more suspicious. And having your arms crossed like that doesn't help. Your arms are crossed as well. Yeah, it's the way their portraits were drawn here. Uh, that's... I suppose this means we're both suspicious people, yes? Shut up! That's just a coincidence. What a charming young woman. She must be very strong to be a retainer to the royal family. I'll have to keep an eye on her. But yeah. Let's see here. It's not gender equal if you count every character, but just in the sense of characters that you can have kids. Yeah. But more characters should be able to have kids. You know. Oh, yeah. You technically can with Scarlet and Revelations, but she's only, like, playable for one chapter. It's so silly. She shouldn't even be playable during that time. Just because it's like, hey, here's these options of getting her golden statue and, like, doing that if you want to. But only within, like, this, like, between these two sets of chapters gap. It's only in that one gap doing things that there's opportunity to. It's really odd, you know? But yeah, no idea why they decided to make Scarlet a pairing option revelations given what happens there. Yeah. Well, a pairing option for Korn, not a pairing option for anyone else. Imagine if she was actually pair offable with like one of the other units to have a kid there. In which case, part of me would still consider doing it if she had like good stats to pass down, <laughs> you know? But yeah, Cal's into Cinder is confirmed. Looks like, seems like here. Kyle, I have a request. I'd like to follow you around for a while. You know I don't mind your company, but may I ask why? Have I done something amiss? What? No, nothing like that. Yeah, in Revelations, Korn can technically be a single father. I mean, you could always do that gameplay-wise on Classic anyway, but I guess you could do it story-wise too. I wonder if the dialogue changes at all. <laughs> like in the chapter where you lose Scarlet. Um... If uh, he just become a single father, probably not because the devs, I would doubt, would anticipate that happening. Like, she's probably just an option because she's an option in, like, birthright. You know, I don't know. Don't die, they just retreat. But if they're an important character, they retreat. Like, if they're important to the story. But if they're not important to the story, I think they still die. Right? I don't know. What? No, nothing like that. I thought it would be a good way to point out all the charming things about you. Why would you want to do that? I've been worried about you, ever since you told me you weren't a good person. It sounded like something's really been bothering you, and I want to help. I want to, you to see all the good in you. That's... So, what do you say? 
I thank you for your concern, but I'm fine. Really. Now, if you'll excuse me. Kyle, hang on! And he's gone. Hmm, but I bet he's still close by. I'm not gonna give up so easily. Kyle! Kyle! Why are you Kyle? Sean! <laughs> Come on. Don't just leave me out here. Hmm. Kyle! Sean! <laughs> Lord Harmonia. There you are. Ha! <laughs> I knew you couldn't hide from me. I would prefer if you didn't scream like that. What if there were enemies nearby? Never give away your position when isolate from the main body of the army. Please, for all our sakes, try to refrain from such behavior in the future. Oh, yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to find you so badly. Thank you for coming back. I know you did it because you were worried for my safety. Which just goes to show how good of a guy you are. Why do you insist on saying such things? Huh? Please, stop. Just leave me alone. Kyle! My apologies, my lord. I should not have spoken to you so rudely. No, no, this is my fault. I've been pestering you too much. I'm sorry, Kyle. Lord Harmonia. Pretty sure they just retreat no matter what, at least from what you remember. Huh, maybe that's just the way that is in this game. Is that? Kyle, look out, it's faceless. Get down. Wah. Phew. Keep your eyes open, Kyle. You were wide open for an ambush. I'm sorry, Silas. I was inexcusably careless. Eh, it happens to the best of us. Just be on guard next time. Yes, thank you. I'm glad you're okay. Take care, Kyle. Um, Silas, please wait. To cough syrup is still- yeah. Not all that great. Hopefully you don't have COVID or anything like that. Because, you know, that just seems to keep on going around. Yeah. So do I. Weird, I thought I heard him tell me to wait, but I guess he left. Silas. Whoa, where the devil did you come from? Sorry if I scared you. That wasn't my intention. I'm a fairly lowly ninja, not yet mindful of the noise I do or do not make. Right. So, what did you need? Something occurred to me. Not COVID. If it was COVID, you'd be dying right now. Okay, so at least not that. You saved my life. I thought I should do something to repay you. Okay, Caden. Don't worry about it. Did what anyone would have done in those circumstances. I can't settle for that. I'll do anything you like. Simply name it. Anything I like? Hmm, you're kind of putting me on the spot here. Listen, I'm fine the way things are. Your uh, thanks are all I need. Silas. Alright, on to Silas with more conversations. Almost. Deep breaths. Ah! Oh, I keep trying and trying, but I never get any better. I hate that I can't do this. I wish I could be better for Harmonia. Felicia. Silas? My deepest apologies. Those rumors about Harmonia's health seem to have been baseless. So, he's alright? Well, he's still under the weather, but not because of anything you did. He just took a whole bunch of cough syrup and he stole a coffee like a <laughs> Harmonia claims he hasn't been feeling well because he isn't getting much sleep. He has a lot on his plate, after all, and not much time to get it all done. Sense the reason that he would have to sacrifice some sleep as a result. Oh, so that's why. It was thoughtless of me to bring up those rumors to you. I should have gotten to the truth of the matter before making you so anxious. I'm very sorry. It's fine. Regardless, my mistakes have still been making Lord Harmonia's life harder. Not noticeably, I assure you. I wish I'd dismissed these silly rumors when the others brought them up to me. Then it might not have come to this. Is there any way I can earn your forgiveness? Earn my... But I've already forgiven you. Maybe so, but I can't forgive myself until I feel I deserve it. Hmm. Similar situation here almost, where it's like, I gotta express my gratitude somehow. And Silas is like, nah, that's fine enough. And now Silas is like, I gotta do something to make it up here. What? Surely there must be something I can do to earn a pardon. Yeah, similar situation here. Oh, um, I'll have to think about that. And figure it out in the next one here? I don't know. Way, Luigi! Perry, what's wrong? Why are you here crying by yourself? Lord Harmonia, I, uh... Way, Luigi! <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks when the internet does that. 
Didn't that used to happen a whole bunch during the birthright play? Maybe it wasn't the birthright playthrough, but I know that there was a time in streaming that it used to happen to me, especially late at night, just randomly. It's hard to understand you while you're sobbing so hard. Can you tell me what happened? Don't wanna. Why not? Because, because you'll say the same thing as they all did. I'm gonna kill them. Um, what? All the ones you made me cry. They're dead meat. Hey, we all get mad sometimes, but no joke. I'm really gonna slaughter them all. Whatever happened must have been serious. She's incoherent with rage. I better stay with her until she calms down. Sniff a while, Luigi. Fred's probably upset she only killed 999 civilians instead of 1,000. Yeah, probably. Here's your tea, Perry. Sorry it took so long. Thanks, Felicia. Uh, whoa. Careful, Felicia. The tray. I got it. Hang on. Whoops. Almost. Ah! Oh my gosh, Perry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm soaked. I'll fix it. Let's see. Where did I put that towel? Here. Found it. Oops. Ah! Get that washcloth out of my face. I'm so, so sorry. You're the worst maid I've seen in my life. Next time this happens, thwack, I'll cut you deep and wide. I isn't that a bit excessive? Nope. I did the same thing when my own servants messed up. Thwack. Oh, I miss taking blood baths in the spray. Are you out of your mind? I'll let you off this time, but it better not happen again. Yikes. If I was Felicia, I would not want to be getting close to Perry anymore. My goodness. Nothing. How does this volume not contain what I'm looking for? What are you looking for exactly? Harmonia. Didn't I tell you not to pry into a lady's secrets? Yes, I remember something like that. But you can't expect me to turn a blind eye to a friend in need. A friend, hmm? If you still insist that I leave, then I will. Hmm, ah, uh, to be young again. What? Since you insist, I'll tell you. I'm searching for an artifact mirror. It's an ancient, sacred treasure, imbued with the power of the gods. It's rumored to reflect only the truth. That's all I'll say about it. See? That wasn't so hard. You'll be the first to know if I come across any mystic-looking mirrors. On a different subject, though. Yes? If you keep implying that I'm younger than you... you wait. Was there an if? Oh, there wasn't. Are you... But you seem to still be in your adolescence at most. So you don't know. Know what? Uh, I suppose you're bound to find out sooner or later. I may look young, but in truth, I'm much older than you. But in truth, I'm just a diehard Splatoon player. I alternate between being a squid now kid now. What? As a result of a serious error I made in my youth, I'm stuck in this form. I haven't physically aged in many years. But mentally, I'm quite old. If only I could see my true form. Oh, I see now. Yes, that's why I seek the artifact mirror. It alone can show me what I'm meant to look like at this age. Now you understand? Yes, that explains a lot. Thank you for sharing, Nyx. Fun fact, the uh, text adventure game that I'm developing with my team, the main character slash name of our game is seeming like it's going to be Nyx. Completely unrelated to this game and spelled differently like NIX. We were not very creative. Our team was team six and we wanted to see if, you know, we could play that into, you know, something that was meaningful to our game. And, you know, so we looked up rhymes with six after not getting any good leads, you know, anywhere else and found Nix NIX and it's a way of saying null or nothingness and you know, we are trying to make a game that's about delving into one's traumas and stuff and, you know, self-regret and all that. And it's like, oh, that could be symbolic of a name then. So yeah, our game that we're making is called Nyx, and that's the name of our character, and it's completely unrelated to this game. Is the case. And I've mentioned before how I uh, took on the role of composer to, you know, experiment with some things here. Um... You know, it's something that not super serious, like a text adventure game, throw myself into the deep end in terms of getting back into music. Um, I made a rough draft main theme for the game just a couple weeks ago, is the case. I try to make it a kind of somber like theme, and I think that sounds pretty alrighty, but could use a little bit of polish. But I've never written music before, so it was a 
little bit of an interesting foray for me. It was just something very basic on my on my keyboard there, you know. Okay, I, I can't just leave that teaser and not play it, I guess. Hold on. In case anyone wants to offer any opinions on on my theme for the game Nyx here that this made me think of. Um, where's my group Discord server? So I basically just experimented with finding some chords that I thought sounded kind of reflective, somber-like and stuff, but also with a little bit of hope. I thought these four chords sound pretty good, and then I just kind of expanded on like notes from there with like some very basic stuff. So yeah. Nyx is the Greek goddess of night and sister of Erebus, the god of darkness. Huh. If you recall, Nyx does have a canonical age of 44. Interesting. So it's Rosmere from Dragon Quest, so I guess it works the same there. And you know, this is not, you know, edited at all. This was just me roughly playing on the keyboard over there and stuff. So, you know, consider this a very rough draft version that has not at all been fixed up. But yeah. Um, and next time this happens, Thwack from 0% to a newer, fresher 0%. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. You like it? Thank you. And I, uh, I figured out how to, like, plug in my, uh, keyboard to, uh, my computer here. So I just did it off of Synthesia. So, I mean, if I, uh, so the video that I shared with, like, my group here, I don't know why it's in such low quality, I guess because Discord and I full screened it, but this was the video that I shared with my team here, and it's literally just, you know, my keyboard that's over there and stuff. But yeah, um, let's turn off display capture now, as the case. But yeah, this is my, uh, <laughs> this is the first piece of music that I've ever made myself. First thing that wasn't just, like, 10 seconds long, you know. Then I was like, yeah, let's go back to just chords and then have like a little bit of variation with doing like a different version of that tune on like the lower part there, you know, like put in a little bit of a key change here and all that. So it's like more reflective part. But yeah, using FL Studio for any song you make. Yeah, that's one that I hear is really popular and a lot of remixers use and stuff. But, you know, part of me is like, should I do that? Or should I just play on my keyboard and then use like video editing stuff <laughs> to put it all together? You know, have a basic idea of what you want to do. Nice, nice. So I'm going to be using that here pretty soon. If you ever want to, you know, a good place to go for advice about that kind of thing, I would highly recommend the Pokemon Mega Mix community because there's lots of people there into a whole bunch of remixing stuff. And from what I hear from people that I know that are involved with it, you know, apparently they're super supportive with that all. But yeah, got an ear for music, but you can't compose to save my life. Yeah, that's what I thought there. And I was really worried about what I might be able to do. And I was like, oh, can I really do this? Which is why I just took the simple approach of let's take some chords that sound good and, uh, you know, build something off of it and just use some chords from things I know how to play. Like, I'm fairly certain those sets of chords from that were like a slight variation off of the chords that I play in Primal Dialga's theme from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2. Like, you listen to that, and that's not going to sound like Primal Dialga's theme, evidently. But the chords that I use along with the main leitmotif from Primal Dialga's theme, I think like a couple of those chords are the same as in that. And then I think I might have changed it up a little bit to, you know, be more somber tone kind of thing. But if I played that fast, you know, and then with the main tune from Primal Dialga's theme, you know, be like, okay, yeah, this sounds like it's fitting here. I think I might have. All I know is I experimented around with like the chords of a bunch of different tunes I knew how to play. And it's like, which one can I make somber and reflective? You know, because <laughs> I don't know how to go at this from scratch. I think that was the chords that I used along with Primal Dialga. <laughs> I'm fairly certain. It was like, okay, this works. Let's make some notes for it. And that's what I did. But yeah, let's see here. Made a song back in high school, but it's been lost to time. It's lost to media. But you rediscovered the correct piano keys you use in it when you're happy as you adore the piano from that work. That's awesome. It's a cool way to get back into that rediscovering that all. Also, I realized I say get back into that as if, you know, you've been like me and not played it for a while. But I guess that was, you know, my brain associating things where it's like, I haven't been into it for a while. And now that's what I have on my mind. So, you know, I wasn't trying to make any assumptions there. But ah, I wouldn't. I need to talk to you. What is it? I've heard that you don't just fight with spells. You can create them too. Um, and I guess my brain also saw the word like rediscovered and then associated that there. 
But yeah, add the song Morris made in high school to the lost media wiki. Yeah, <laughs> do that. You have heard truly. My skill in crafting spells has no peer among the living. Indeed, my fame or infamy is the art in wait in the art is such that I have earned various sobriquets. High King of Hocus, Pontis, Pontiff of Pocus, Mr. Somatic Component, to name a few. The world is vast, but I can safely say that I am the greatest mage it has ever known. Good. I need you to make me a special spell. What? A special spell? Yes. A spell to make me feel things like happiness, anger, stuff like that. You want a spell to help you experience emotions? Why? Just play Pokemon Issue Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Don't want to talk about it. I see. No matter. Odin Dark can grant this wish. I shall begin preparing straight away. Thanks. But yeah, it's probably on your old PC's hard drive, but it's bricked. You have no means of recovering it. Oh, that's not good. Well, well, Baruka. Still haven't given up the assassin trade, I see. What do you want? Been visiting Nor, have we? A slum wouldn't be my first choice of vacation destination, but different strokes. You followed me? People forget, what with all the thieving and killing I do, that I'm a skilled tracker. I was behind you every step of the way. I must say, it was a very pleasant view. Now, you and I both know that slum is a prime source for contracts. If you're planning to kill someone, I advise you come clean to me about it right now. Strange. If you're so skilled at tracking, then you should already know my business there. W well, I... Just a minute. You tried to follow me, but my trail went cold. That wasn't an accident. Phew. I'm not your average mark, Niles. I have a sixth sense for the street. Phew. But rest easy. I wasn't doing anything I shouldn't have been. So you can stop toying with me. Oh, and that's where that conversation ends. Okay. But yeah, now you gotta make a D&D &D spell called Owain's Intense Emotions based off of that support there. The voice ac acting here is lacking compared to Ecto Echoes, but oh, so much power is awesome. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, there was Awakening and Fates with like the partial voice acting and then Echo is the first game where they went full voice acting for, you know, Fire Emblem. And I haven't gone back since and... You know, voice acting at Echoes was so good. Of the three Fire Emblem games I've had full voice acting thus far, you know, for not counting things like, you know, Warriors or anything like that, like the three full mainline games, Echoes is probably still my favorite in it, though. Like, it's... That was a good one there. Hope things are going well today, Polico Stefan. Voice acting of Fates is hit or miss. Yeah, I wish that was present more often. But it was the next game that they would start doing that. Hey there, Baruka. Laszlo, why are you here? I was doing Selena's voice for a hot second there. Like the whatever. I was just out for a nice walk around town. Why are you standing in the shadow of this building? Just killing time. If you've got nothing going on, there is a nice tea shop I've been meaning to try. Shut up, Laszlo. Get out of here. Shut up? That's not nice at all. I just wanted to chat with you. I bet I can get you to crack a smile. A part of shut up didn't make sense. Jeez, do you really dislike me that much? Oh yeah, in the save data editor, another interesting thing that I saw is apparently you can tweak the hair color of other characters here too, like even first generation ones. And I don't know what exactly that's going to entail then. Like is all their hair just programmed in such a way where it's like, hey, here's like the lighting and shading and stuff like that. And we just set in the code that it's this color that it bases itself off of. And I can change what that is. Like, can I set the Awakening Trio to have, like, the hair colors of what they would have had in my Awakening playthrough? Would that be something fun to do if I can do it? Do you really dislike me that much? I'm sure you've got the wrong idea about me. Let's go have that tea and I'll prove it. Damn it. She noticed me. Hmm? Who noticed you? Why are you staring intently over there? Oh, hey. That woman looks familiar. Is that who you're looking at? Ka, There she goes. This is your fault. I didn't do anything. She saw you looking, so she ran away. It is absolutely your fault. Quick, we have to get after her. We do? Hey, wait up! But yeah. Uh, Hinoka is a miss, you. Yeah, that's fair enough there. Um, You're still at this. Can't find the dab blame thing anywhere. Could you lend me a hand? I have a better idea. 
Why don't you give up already? Huh? There's nothing here but rubble anymore. I guarantee looters have made off with anything of worth by now. If that ball of yours had any market value, it's long gone. You're probably right. Huh. It's kind of sad. I... How come I was the only one left alive? Does it really make you that sad that everyone is dead? Of course it does. That's my family you're talking about. Haven't you ever been upset with someone past? Don't you know that knot in your gut when you lose someone? That's neither here nor there. I prefer not to dwell on those things. Better to live in the pleasures of the now. I could give you a demonstration if it would take your mind off things. Th this is hardly the time. I... A demonstration of what? Living in the now? Not dwelling on the past? If you want to wallow in pain and misery in the ruins of your home, suit yourself. But my offer still stands if you'd rather have some fun instead. You... You're horrible. Okay, I guess I see what he's implying then. And you're boring, which is worse. It wouldn't take much for me to make you feel better. Believe me, I know a lot of ways. Like going to Goofy Goober's ice cream party boat. But I can see you'd rather be miserable. So carry on without me. W what a self-contained jerk. But yeah. Yeah, there is that. But hey. At least everyone in the Fire Emblem world understands the concept of consent, you know. Hello, Niles. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of conversing before. That's correct. Which I've always found strange since we were both stationed in the palace. Yes, well, your reputation precedes you. I suppose I never went out of my way to make your acquaintance. I can center the doggy cam a bit better here. Like that. Something or other. Because of my past. How shallow of you. I suspected as much, however. Which is why I never bothered to meet you, either. Nothing irritates me more than a smug little goody-goody. I'm talking about you in case you didn't catch my drift. Oh dear. There's that sharp tongue you're known for. Look, I didn't mean to get off on the wrong foot like this. Just another failure to add to your list, I suppose. Um. <laughs> You're already speechless. How cute. How about I say something really offensive? Time to blur out the text on the stream. Blow those cute ears right off your head. This is unpleasant. I would like to end the conversation now. Very well. I'll let you off the hook once. But be prepared to fend for yourself if you wish to speak with me again. Well, dang. All right, we're getting there. Oh, Odin has a whole bunch. This, this is what I want to do here, right? So is this going to be like my first pairing? Let me double check my sheet. Just to always extra make sure. Yes, that was my plan. Because, yeah. Felicia passes down minus two in strength. Which is kind of sucky for anyone physical. But Ophelia doesn't care. And will benefit from plus two in magic. Yeah, you know, Ophelia's never going to use strength. So yeah, there's that. Um, you're the one supporting them, or so are they really the ones consenting? Yeah, when well, it's all gameplay-wise here. We want to see our first S support of the playthrough. Here we go. Yeah, here it be. Ah, oh, scatter wizards. Or do you still prefer Felicia? Are you here with more tea? Actually, no. They took me off watch duty. What? I told the new recruits they were being unfair, and it was really getting to you. If they kept it up, you'd no longer be able to get out of bed, let alone fight. So they had a meeting and called the whole thing off. No more supervision. Plus, they've been in the army long enough. They're used to the weirdness by now. Oh. I thought you'd be happy. I am. I'm just a little sad you won't be supervising me anymore. You are? I really liked having hot tea poured on my head. It was refreshing. You're multi-talented, you know? I guess so. I know so. Such epic awkwardness. Such heartfelt spewing of encouraging words. Oh, did that help? I tried so hard to make you feel better. Yes. Please, Felicia. Will you remain my overlord? Well, supervising you was fun, and you're the only person who likes how clumsy I am. You know what? I'd like that too. I'll keep supervising you. Oh, thank you, Scatter Wizards. No one quites my aching heart as you do. 
bring that kettle over here and pour your fiery curse upon Odin Dark. Uh, okay. So you accept. Really? Yes, I'm pretty sure you need me. And the truth is, your weirdness is growing on me. Then Odin Dark shall become even weirder. Prepare yourself, my overlord. Oh dear. Bring the hot tea. Scald my soul. Okay, I don't know what I expected from that S support, but it definitely wasn't that. Uh, now we get this scene from like the first S support and running custom textures has that weird line going across the screen there The bond between this pair grew stronger still a union that soon proved fruitful The castle that everyone called home was no safe place for infants Even though it is a pretty much perfectly safe pocket dimension, but what do I know? Where could newborns be hidden in such dangerous times? The answer was another pocket dimension, the Deep Realms, tiny worlds strewn across the astral plane. The solution wasn't without its complications, however. Time in the Deep Realms passed far more quickly. How weird. In the blink of an eye, babies grew into children. Soon after, to adulthood. Crazy how this one pocket dimension that we go to, like between battles here as like our hub, doesn't have that effect. But all these other pocket dimensions do that where time passes a whole lot faster. Parents would deal with this dizzying pace of maturity in their own ways, but they could rest assured that children would be safe for a time. Yeah, until we do their paralogs where we unlock them, where we always have to save them in the midst of a battle, which implies that it was in fact more dangerous than being in the castle here. But you know, the excuses that we need to get to get this gameplay mechanic of getting child units that people like in Fire Emblem After Awakening, you know, <laughs> so there's that. Well, I get that as support where you can get that dollar side support. Yeah, right. And Hoden gets his rocks off from a hot tea. Yeah, for reasons. But he is a weirdo. <laughs> but yeah, Owen calling the maid his overlord is hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, get pregnant in the middle of a war. Just use the hyperbolic time chamber. Yeah, that's right. And I love how we just like negate like the whole time that it takes to conceive the baby here like it's just instant you know like immediately after doing that whoops that's buildings i could immediately go next battle and then there will be a paralogue here odin reunites with his daughter ophelia like wow time sure flies they grow up so fast yeah fire emblem face is a weird video game isn't it <laughs> all right some more conversations here but yeah let's see here now I, Odin Dark, shall unlock the Eighth Scroll, calling forth the fivefold fires. Eternal embers of the Soul Realms, rise up from your slumber and consume my foes. Kaboom, kapow! I mean, not that, Odin! Anything but that flum! <laughs> pathetic. Did nobody ever teach you to be afraid of the Dark? Odin, are you still not through yet? You've been at it for hours. Ha! Do not feign surprise. I know you were spying on me. As my arch rival, you hunger for my secrets and watch in hopes of learning them. You, Laszlo of the Azure Skies. I think I prefer Indigo. Can we make it Indigo Skies? In any case, why are you still engaged in such foolishness? It's as childish as ever. And you're not getting any younger, my friend. Fie and vexations upon you. I am no child. I am a conjurer of conjurings. Uh, wait, no, that isn't right. Let me try again. <clears throat> you best watch your tone. I prey upon fool's blood and you've an overabundance. Nailed it. Uh, it's no use. You're even worse than before. I suppose I'll just have to tell Lord Leo you skipped training today. Again. Such a shame. You look terrible in irons. Uh, hey, wait up. Come on, Laszlo, think this through. What is it there? What is there to think through? You are failing in your duties as retainer. I'm afraid I have no choice but to report you. I see how dutiful and virtuous you are. Yes, a man of your integrity would never object to my telling Lord Xander anything. Particularly not about his irreproachable retainer skipping training to flirt with girls. I'd say it's been one, two, three. Oh no, it's been every day this week, in fact. Scandalous. What? You wouldn't dare. Then swear upon your sword that you won't report me to Lord Leo. Fine. Maybe we should both just get some training done today. Say, how about we have a quick round? It's been a while. Very well. But you will regret those words. Prepare yourself for the void. <laughs> really has been a while. 
Feels just like old times, doesn't it? It's as though we've gone back in time. Yeah, it really does feel that way. Hmm, I wonder where everyone is. All our old friends, I mean. Probably having a bunch of feasts and fun forgetting all about us. I'm joking, it's a joke! You gotta learn to relax more, buddy. Now come on, today is a special day. For today you learn what wrath means. I unveil to you the forbidden tome. Genealogy of the Infinite Pain! It'll hurt so bad your grandchildren will be wincing years after your death. I see. And I suppose it's time to stop kidding around. I will unveil a secret dueling form derived from the ancient scrolls of the masters. I give you the sacred dance of the mystic blade. No, can it be? Yes, bow before the sacred dance of the mystic blade. So, I see you've come to understand the importance of secret techniques. Verily, I learned it from the teachings of the sage, Hyo Moring, your friends. Very good. I expect no less from Laszlo of the Azure Skies. Now, taste my vengeance. Let us begin, Odin Dark. Oh, wait, and an ego totally played D&D together. Oh, yeah, no doubt about that. You know, <laughs> great dynamic right there. But yeah, also Ophelia with Felicia as her mom also means that F Ophelia has ice powers. Wait, does that get passed down gameplay wise or visually? Because if so, that's kind of cool. You know, that's why your epithet is Ophelia of the Dark Frost. <laughs> Heard the comment that supports in this game really go away to make up for the flaws in the main story writing? Yeah, I hear that in this game all the time. No, it doesn't, Sally. It's just lore. Oh, imagine. You got me excited there for a second. 852, 853, 854. Ugh. Effie, we need to talk. 855, 856, 857. Are, are you listening to me? I said we need to talk. 858, 859, 860! Phew. Effie! What? Why are we yelling? I heard you've been spreading rumors about me, telling people I'm weird. How dare you? 861, 862, 863. Hey, I'm talking to you. Stop squatting that tree trunk, will you? Huh? Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Can we talk later? No, oh, this is important. Why do you tell people that I was weird? Or do you deny it? Answer me! Oh, yeah, I said that. So what? It wasn't meant as an insult, just an observation. I mean, you are weird. Or do you deny it? Anyway, can I get back to my squats now? I'm really behind on my training. I'm not weird. I'm hyper-normal! So normal that normal people can't even understand me. Which, I guess, means that they probably think I'm weird. Damn it! Oh, I'm glad we could clear that up. Oh, I was also going to tell you about a new training technique I've been working on. It's practically doubled my strength, but it seems like you're busy, so... Doubled your strength? Well, now you've got my attention. Sorry, gotta run. <laughs> well, interesting. Alright, we have one last support conversation here. Sorry to disappoint you. Ah, oh, well. Owen plays a sorcerer slash paladin in multi-class who has 500 pages of backstory, and an ego plays a bard who's just here for the ladies. Yeah, that's totally what would happen there. But yeah, yeah, Odin, he, he's a, what was the right word? I was going to say he's a awesome, but that's not how words work. But let's face it, he is awesome. <laughs> Hello, Mozu. Got another batch of fruit to dry out. Hello, Effie. No, today I'm going to be squeezing the fruit. Oh, I'm not a big fan of juice. Too much pulp. Like, I'm sure there was a lot of people that were hyped that he made a return, like after Fire Emblem Awakening into this game. Ah, but I perfected a technique for pulp for juice. You just need some fine material, like this. Wrap around the fruit and squeeze. Voila, no pulp. That's brilliant, but you have a lot of fruit here. How long will this take you? Oh, I don't mind doing it. It's fun to squish a big old fruit in your hands. I suppose my hands do get tired after a little while. It takes some strength. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. <laughs> well, you made that look easy. <laughs> Thanks. I can help you out with others if you want. I've been looking for a new way to work out my hands anyway. Yeah? Well, sure. That'd be great. You got it. It's the least I can do after you gave me all that fruit the other day. Alright. Let's get to it. We can also drink some of the juice as we go. I was hoping you'd say that. It's important to stay hydrated. 
Definitely was. Oh, Wayne is no joke your favorite character in all of Fire Emblem. He's pretty good. Also, I think... Did I do a little bit of forging between sessions? No, not for that. I forged swords because, you know, I took away the 50 of the plus 50 of everything I had, which meant that I had a whole bunch of sword stuff, but not much of the others. So people that wielded swords, I gave forged swords to. So that's now a plus two. Laszlo has a plus two iron sword. I can't get infinite steel swords yet. I mean, technically I could with enough castle visiting, but like, I'm going to ignore that. Um, it might just been those two then. Oh, wait. And Silas, yeah, best of swords up to plus two and you have iron sword plus two. So yeah, sword wielders got a bit of an upgrade. Not really anybody else um, is the case there. Oh, and there's a bronze sword plus two at the ready right there. Um, so yeah, I might just cheat in those other resources because I've pretty much established now that while I can visit castles, it'll work like maybe one in 10 times. It'll let me visit a few and then it'll immediately like break on me and not let me visit anymore. So if I need any more eternal seals or whatever kind of seals, stuff like that, that I can't get from the shop at this point, you can always get those from other castles. So, you know, I'll just do what I need to do because, you know, Nintendo's services there are not exactly working super well, you know? Like how he's these chunibib you? What is that word? Goofball most of the time, but then when it gets really dangerous, he drops the act and gets serious. Yeah. He can absolutely get real there. Um, oh, let's hang out with Niles. I don't know. Just have like the fastest hangout ever. <laughs> wow. That was an amazing hangout. Japanese slang. Okay. That was my first hearing it. All right. No more support there. I've already been shooting for an hour, 40 minutes. If you've just been going through like supports and stuff here. My goodness. All right. Well, first and foremost, whoop, Eternal Seal. We're using this and then Azura can gain levels again. I could always reclass her, but I kind of like having her as a songstress where, you know, she can sing for my units and then uh, I can get more EXP with them. The ones that need a bit more. But now, you know, she can actually gain some levels instead of having it go to nothing. And this Eternal Seal I obtained completely legitimately. But, you know, it's probably going to be the last time I go out shopping completely legitimately to other castles, considering the modern state of Nintendo services make it basically near impossible to do so. And sometime early next year, it'll become a fully impossible. So, you know, you know how it is. Um, Felicia now has like all the skills of strategist here. You know, she kicks a decent bit of ass in a strategist here, but she has all the skills, which means it's time to reclass because yeah, you, uh, I guess you would have gotten the final, no, you wouldn't have gotten this final skill at level 15, because, yeah, 17 is the perfect level here, because you got the final maid skill at level 15, and then I reclassed you to strategist, and then level 16 and level 17, you got the skills for strategist here, which means that, you know, these other levels can be going towards getting more skills and stuff, so your strength is gonna be kinda not as bad as I thought it would be there, honestly, but it's time to start getting you skills like soul. You know, is the case. This is something that we're going to be doing with like all the units when they get to like promoted level 15. It's like, yeah, time to start rapidly reclassing them so that they can be gaining skills here, especially for the sake of passing them on to child units and all that. But Felicia, as one of your few units that starts out already promoted, is able to do this a little bit earlier. So, yeah, here we have hero Felicia, and she's going to be hitting a decent bit harder with the sword than the axe. And once she has the skills that she needs, I'm getting her out of hero. But yeah. There's Hero Felicia and stuff. I don't think that there's going to be anybody ready for promotion here for a little while yet. Um, yeah, we're still kind of getting there. But yeah, Chunibuyu basically means delusions of grandeur. Basically people who act like Odin. Some like 8th grader syndrome. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I've never heard that term before. All right. Oh, there's one more thing that I can do here. Um... Yeah, do I just want to pile up my statues over here? Because I don't know, man. Sure. Here, just pile up a whole bunch of crap. It's all going in the corner. Because I don't know where the heck to put these things. Meh. I uh, wait. I think I read something recently where it's like... To get the other like retainer between like Jacob and Felicia you need to have cleared a certain chapter and also have like a certain castle defense set up 
I don't know, I'll look into that some more later. Don't have to worry about it for a little bit for now anyway. Uh, this doesn't matter that much right now, so I'm just going to leave it be. All right, let's go to the next battle. After an hour, 40 minutes here. Or Paralog 20. Nah, let's not. Oh, Chapter 13, Uprising. After defeating the Hashins at Makarath, Harmonia returns to Nor. There, Harmonia is ordered to march to Sheve and stop an uprising. Let's proceed to the next battle. Chapter 13, Uprising. Gotta do at least one chapter tonight. 